I've also been having a lot of fun with this new Electribe 2. Uh, one of the things that I'm always trying to do at the moment is I don't like looking at that. It really, you know, no offence to Ableton, I'm fed up with looking at a computer screen, which is why I've kind of gone away from plugins and gone back into, you know, using analog synths and thing, things like that, especially things without presets, because you kind of make up a sound, you commit it to audio and you move on. And if you don't like it, you have to make up a new sound. And I just think you work, I find I work faster when I go around this room using analog synths without presets than I ever do trawling through hundreds of presets on a, um, you know, a plugin. You're far better off with something like this. It's got a limited set of sounds, but if you gel with the sounds it's got, it's probably going to, you know, do you for an album or get you get, you know, get the job done. And that's what I've found with this. Actually, I've been really getting into it. I, I sort of started off quite tentative and kind of started exploring the sounds on it and, and kind of realizing, you know, with the sort of editing features, there's enough going on there with the the filter and the, the sort of insert effects and the, the amp for me to get these really good sounds that are in there right from the from the start and tailor them to how I want them to to sound and how I want them to be. You know, it's actually quite a, you know, while it's limited in some ways, it's got enough for you to really make it, make it your own. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been coming up with quite a lot of beats out, out of this. So I think um, I certainly going to make it onto the next album. There's, a, you know, a lot of starts. I you know, think things like that. I've been getting into a lot of clipped little short drum sounds recently. And of course, they're not like that, just straight out of the box. But because it's adaptable, you can do that. But let's just sort of run through a few of the... Yeah, I've been getting a lot of joy out of that, actually. It's, it's, it's been good. And of course, it's got synth sounds in it as well. So it's kind of, it's quite good to, it's a good starting place I've found for just getting a sort of beat going and then sort of attacking the, the kind of synth sounds for just like a bit of a, a, a rhythm device or something like that, somewhere to, to, to start and then, and then sort of breaking it from there into Ableton and, and you know, and getting on, getting on with it that way. But it's a, it's a nice place to start without kind of looking at a computer or thinking about too many options. <laughs> 